Hello all, uh, welcome to JS Testing Academy. Uh, welcome to the new series of videos uh, that is APM. Okay, uh, so APM is a mobile automation testing uh, tool. Okay, so we have lot of tools in the market where APM is one of a very common uh, tool, uh, right, which is used in the industries. Okay, so nowadays my everything is of mobile apps. Okay, there are a lot of right uh, mobile apps. Everything, all the entire uh, for every application we have app. Like for example, Book My Show, Red Bus, right? Uh, Amazon, Flipkart, uh, right? Uh, Ola, Uber, right? We have law for everything. All the applications, Figgy, the most common used app, right? We have everything used. In apps so apps needs to be tested okay so apps needs to be uh, tested uh, so there are a lot of tools in the market one of the very common tool is APM okay uh, so through APM uh, we can write the code and we can test the apps okay so APM is an open source test automation framework uh, it is used to test right mobile automation across the different platforms ios and android okay uh, so normally through manually we can test the mobile apps through browser stack both the android and the ios device in automation we can uh, write with uh, write we can test with the help of the apm A apm supports right different languages one of the most common use languages is with java so in this series we are going to use the java language for uh, right uh, right apm okay then all uh, right uh, the other features uh, we can also use python ruby and javascript also the other different programming languages which can be used to apm is java python ruby and javascript okay so other uh, features of apm is it's a cross platform testing right you can test both android device and ios device different platforms you can test okay and it supports different languages and libraries like as i told you java python c sharp ruby javascript and, and many more languages okay and next it supports native app hybrid app and mobile app okay so native app those are built for a particular specific platform that is called as a native app. Hybrid app is the app which is supports both native app and the web components. Okay. And mobile web apps only supports the web application ac ac access with the mobile browser. Then, uh, right, then IPM has separate inspector tools, right, to locate a particular element, right, up in the mobile. Okay. Next one is, right, APM is integrated with a lot of other frameworks, right? For example, TestNG framework, JNet framework, BDD, Cucumber, Mocha framework, right? It can be integrated with other frameworks. As we all know, right, we, it can be pushed in JIT, integrated with Jenkins, and run through Docker also, okay? So all these things are basics, right, of the APM. And next one is, right, uh, the architecture of the APM okay uh, if you see first it has apm has client libraries okay so it provides an api for writing script with various libraries like java library python right apm python client apm java client it has different uh, right libraries with interacts with the apm server if you see right then it has different uh, libraries it interacts with the apm server with the json wire protocol mobile json wire protocol it interacts via to the server with the mobile JSON via protocol. Okay. After it interacts, it hits the APM server. From API server, the request is sent to the mobile app. Okay. Through the drivers. It has through drivers, right? It interacts with the uh, mobile app through the various drivers, automation framework, right? Uh, for example, UI Automator 2 driver. Through UI Automator 2 driver, it uses UA Automator framework and interacts with the Android user interface. Okay, uh, so normally apps will have an APK file through APK file. 
we can install that in our app or we can keep it in our machine and that from that apk file we can access the particular application okay the mobile application can be accessed via the apk file okay so it uses UI automator framework to interact with the android ui okay so this and after that after interacting gets the response used to the ui uh, automation server so we'll be writing a code in eclipse uh, that after writing a code if executing through json wire protocol it hits the apm server and converts it as request and goes to the apm uh, right mobile app via the AT ui automation framework then it gets a response to the server and it comes the result in the e eclipse right so this is what it's happening here okay uh, so this is the architecture of the apm okay so hope you learned something so continue to follow watch us this series we'll be slowly uh, adding more videos in the apm and slowly moving to the framework now thank you have a nice day meet you soon in the next video bye